Hi, this is Morag from Academic Skills. In this short video, we're going to apply a skimming strategy while reading. First, let's think about why we might use a skimming strategy. Skimming is useful when you need to get an overview of a text quickly. For example, as a preview to more detailed reading, if you have a lot of reading to do and not much time, or when you want to evaluate if a source might be useful for a paper you're writing. It is not appropriate if you need to gain in-depth knowledge of a text. So how do you skim read? First, as with all reading tasks, determine your purpose for reading. Then, focus only on the parts of the text that contain the main ideas, such as headings, introductions and conclusions. Remember, you're looking for general information, not detail, so don't read every word. It can also help to think like the author. Consider what their aim might have been and how they might have structured the paper to achieve that aim. In this video, we're going to apply a skimming technique to a paper to determine if it's going to be useful for our purposes or not. So the first thing is to determine what our purpose is. In this case, let's imagine we're writing an essay responding to the question below. First, we need to consider some criteria to determine the article's usefulness. We can see that the main topic is peer learning programs, and we need to focus on the benefits, both academic and social, for mentors and mentees, as well as draw on both individual and group models. For the paper to be useful, it needs to relate directly to these themes. As we're writing an academic paper, we also need to check it's credible and recent. Now we know the criteria, we can start skimming. Let's start by considering the title, author, date, and publisher. This helps us to determine both relevance and credibility. First, we can see that the title clearly relates to the topic of benefits of peer learning. Looking at the authors, we can see that they are from reputable higher education institutions in Australia, which lends credibility to the paper and is of particular relevance given we're also in Australia. We can see that the article is published in an academic journal called Studies in Higher Education, making it both credible and relevant to the topic, as peer programs often occur in higher education settings. Importantly for our context, this research is current as it was published recently in 2015. So far, this article appears to be highly relevant and credible, and therefore useful. Let's continue skimming to get a better understanding of the content of the paper. Abstracts provide an overview of the paper, including context, aims, method, key findings, potential applications, and sometimes limitations or areas for future study. First, we see the context and previous research findings, namely that past programs positively affect academic grades. Next, we see that the aim of the study is to extend and build on those results, followed by an explanation of the method, the major findings, it benefits all students, but more so international students and lower achieving students. And lastly, potential applications of the study. Remember, at this point, if you feel the paper is not useful, stop reading. But this clearly relates to our topic, so we'll keep skimming. Let's move on to the introduction, as this will outline the aim and the structure of the paper. This is where thinking like the author can help, as they will have chosen the most logical way of presenting information, moving from background to detail and general to specific. Think about where you usually find the aim and structure in an introduction, as this will help you to find that information quickly. Pause the video now and skim read to find the aim and structure of this paper. We can see that the aim and outline are at the end of the introduction, which is where we normally expect them to be. Let's jump to the conclusion, as this will summarise the major findings in relation to the aim. Pause the video now and skim read the conclusion to identify the major findings. Hopefully, from reading the conclusion, you notice that the paper achieved its aim of extending and confirming previous results. And the major findings? Data showed a benefit in grades, but that was dependent on regular attendance. Both domestic and international students showed improvements, but international more so. It improved equity in diverse cohorts. Lower achieving students saw greater benefit. And it improved confidence, which led to improved grades and improved study skills. The next step is to skim through the rest of the text, looking at headings, subheadings, diagrams, graphs, charts, illustrations, and their captions, as this tells us the structure of the paper. 
Here are the section headings from this paper. They provide a framework to help us focus on the main ideas. As we're looking for a general overview, you might want to skip the detail normally found in the data, method and results sections and focus more on the discussion and limitations. The final step in skimming would be to read the first and last sentence in each paragraph, which would most likely contain the main points. Now that we've finished skimming the paper, we've got a really good overview of the content and the structure. Having established credibility, we can conclude that it supports the idea that the peer learning programs have a positive impact on academic achievement under certain conditions. This paper would definitely be worth reading in detail. So let's sum up. Skimming strategies are useful when you need to get an overview of the main idea of a paper. They involve reading any information that will give you an overview, including the author, title, date and publisher, table of contents or index for relevant sections or pages, the abstract, introductory paragraphs or chapters, the conclusion, chapters, headings and subheadings, diagrams, graphs, charts, illustrations and their captions, endnotes, appendices and lists of references, and the first and last sentence in each paragraph, which most likely contain the main points.